I'm Katie Clancy, Chief House Hawker for the Cape House at William Ravis. Hi guys, and I'm Sarah Lapsey-Martin of Team Martin Lapsley at Kinlan Grover, and this is What's Good Cape Cod, where we show you the Cape through the eyes of a couple of locals. Every episode, we tell you about a person, a place, and a thing we think you should know about. So this week, we talk about a COVID success story, the latest hotspot for cool Cape Cod gear, and one of our spectacular Audubon locations on the Cape. Yes. All right. So let's get rocking and rolling. <clears throat> Sarah, tell us about Brianna. So Brianna Silvio, she has started Elevated Impressions. I am loving, loving, loving this new company. I, I think that she is doing a great job. She's an entrepreneur. Um, she just started this new company in 2019 and it is truly spreading joy across the Cape. So um, she wanted to bring something new to the Cape. She actually was in, you know, a full-time secure job, financial planning. Um, she left it in March, you know, COVID hit. And she was doing this, this business as, as a side gig. So COVID hits and she really had to pivot and figure out what to do with her work. And she decided Elevated Impressions was going to be her new gig and do it full-time. What it is, it's a, um, it's a company that does balloons and party rentals. So I'll start with, I love the beginning of her story. So when you ask her, how did this all come into play? She says it all started with a donut and any plan that starts donut? with a donut, let's be serious. So all good things start with a yeah. donut. I mean, what doesn't? So she was invited to a friend's baby shower and she, um, one of her best friends, and she wanted to contribute in, in a special way. And so after searching for like two weeks, she found the perfect thing and it was a donut wall. So it was like a wall that had little pegs. And it had oh, a I've seen a donut wall. A donut wall. You're like, don't, yeah. <laughs> um, so she purchased, purchased it, got rave reviews from all the friends and the guests at the, the baby shower. And so she purchased a few more larger ones. And then she also got a bubbles wall, which is a wall that holds champagne glasses. Nice. And it says bubbles. So you can like self-serve yourself a glass of champagne. Um, I mean, that's a pretty cool wall. If you ask me. So, <laughs> yeah. so after that, the rest was history. Um, and you have to look, you know, follow her. I follow her on Instagram. She, it, it's amazing. So she not only has these walls, but she designs beautiful balloon designs. So we're not talking just like normal balloons. She has, they're like huge balloon garlands, balloon arches, um, backdrops. We I saw actually, she did like a mermaid wall. I saw on Facebook. She's good. Yeah. So her newest thing she's doing is like a shimmer wall and it's yeah. like a wall that's all shimmered. And then she has this huge balloon arch around it. Um, and you can kind of like have it almost like as a selfie wall or like a photo wall, like as a backdrop. Yeah. Um, she actually, we had a, a party for my parents and it, for their 50th anniversary. And we got, I mean, massive, it would, it's bigger than it fits over a doorway. And we, we got just like a, a balloon garland it had the colors we were using for our theme. It had the number 50. And it really was just an added decoration to our party that like really was a wow factor. So, uh, you know, I can attest to what I've seen yeah. online. I've seen her pictures and everything. But the part that really impresses me is the cojones it took for her. Like, I'm going to bail on my financial planning business in the middle of a, a pandemic. And yeah. I'm going to jump into something that is dependent on events that yes. aren't happening. Yes. <laughs> I but, agree. Which but is they're scary. happening somehow. Scary. She's doing and, it. Yeah. Well, and I think that's the thing. I think that because we're not having these big events, people have wanted to find an extra special way to celebrate someone. Yeah. So she has these like um, balloon towers. It will be like someone's fifth birthday, and you know they probably can't have a party. So right. waking up and having this really cool balloon arch or really cool thing. Yeah. Uh, it's just an extra special way because and also I, I, I have to say yeah. if you're doing something like that, it's very photo worthy. Like you said, it's a okay. great photo backdrop for selfies and whatnot. It's great for yep. social media. So it really makes, okay. and you know, it's like for whoever it is, whether it's little kids or your parents with their 50th yep. wedding anniversary, it yep. feels, it just gives such a really nice feeling. I think I am so impressed with her. That is just awesome. I am too. Gonna, she's, and she's, she's done a few baby showers. Um, she did Tiffany Giselle's baby shower and just like the balloon arch and it said baby. And I mean, so any event you, she, she can be there. And the other thing is she has a family. So her husband, Billy, he works full-time, um, you know, a full-time day job. He's a business and customer director at Iron, at Iron Mountain. Um, and so he's working all the time. But on the weekends, he's waking up at 4 a.m. He's installing these, you know, 
big balloon yeah. installs that he's helping yeah. her on the weekends. They have a daughter, um, Aria. So they, they have a daughter, so they're busy. Um, yeah. And she's just really making it work. And this was her passion. And I just, I just think it's you know great. What? And that's why she's going to be successful. I mean, she's Agreed. got the, she's got the chops for, you know, organization and pragmatism. You can't be a financial planner without that, but then she's got the passion for it. And that's, what's going to keep her going. So you guys, if Agreed. you want to get in on, remember we talk about how we like working with people who nerd out on what they do. And this is a clear passion project for Brianna. So if you want something really special for your next get together party, even just, <laughs> we should get it for our backgrounds. Oh my God. I'm going to get a balloon wall for the next. Now you're thinking <laughs> that we shoot. <laughs> So make sure that they will make, we will make sure that you've got all the links that you need. Yeah. So get- elevated impressions, check out our company, yeah. elevated impressions. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and I am excited to talk about our place because our place is also, it's many things. It, so it's Prepster. It's a new hot yeah, spot. Tell, tell me about it. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not familiar. In Harwichport, which is yeah. like itself, like kind of the coolest place to be. Yeah. Um, and right down C Street in Harbor, yeah. which is, you know, one of the best roads to be down. And it is, it's Cape Cod gear, but it's kind of reimagined. It's got a little tiny bit of an edge to it. It's not like you're, I love to Cape Cod, you know, Cape Cod University. Like, it's none of that. It's, yeah. it's just got a little something else. It's kind of like a, a real P-Town vibe to it that I like. Yeah. Like, you walk by, you can hear the music inside the store. Yep. They've got, actually you want to go in. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. that. And you, you go in and they've got a lot of their own branded stuff, which is, which okay. is very cool. And some history on that, like some of the designs there came from like, Dan, so Dan and James Gooden are the owners of it. James does my hair, by the way. Anybody? Beautiful. Yeah, but that's it. He is not taking in any new customers. Sorry, James. <laughs> I do to myself, um, but go to a store and buy his yeah. shirts, but they yeah. also sell other vendor stuff. So like, they've got like slick shades and I went in there the other day to buy um, gifts for clients who are just bought a house in Harwichport yeah. and they've got a line, they picked up a line of wooden bow ties, which Dude. is weird, but, <laughs> but if like, if you know someone who's a bow tie guy, yeah, what a cool gift. Totally. And Something different. Also really popular for weddings. So like, yes, yeah, yes. The theme. Um, cool. Yeah. It's, it's jam packed with really cool stuff. They get whole new um, fall designs coming in. It's not just a summer place. Yeah. So I highly recommend go down to Harwichport, check it out. They're right in the middle of everything. So you can yeah. go there and then have lunch or whatever you want to do. Um, yeah. In, Harwichport, Prepster. Awesome. I'll have to check it out. Katie, didn't we just get a last minute surprise from Prepster? Uh, yes, we did. Um, so they're actually taking a few days off to Prepster for the holiday rush. But when they come back on the 15th, they have a special gift for What's Good Cape Cod fans. So what's the surprise? Well, when you shop at their Harwichport store and mention you heard about them on What's Good Cape Cod, they will give you a free Prepster bracelet. Oh my God, that's so awesome. So everyone got that right. So go into Prepster. They're closed for a few days prepping. They'll reopen on the 15th. Go shop there and tell them you heard about them on What's Good Cape Cod and we'll get a free bracelet. Yes. Um, I should have worn my sweatshirt. Darn it. Um, the thing that I recommend everybody do, actually, so I, you know, I, I, I'm calling out one particular Audubon sanctuary on the Cape. We've got multiple sanctuaries on the Cape, but in particular, um, my heart right now is smitten with long pasture. So the Audubon uh, reserves and owns all of this land and the walks that you can take through uh, long pasture, unbelievably go through every ecosystem. You go through forest, you go through pond areas, open fields, beach it's marsh everything you just go I I just love walking through and I think the butterflies are still active there's a whole butterfly walk that they have going on right now which would be great it's such a little hidden gem that not everyone knows about I know and like you drive down Bone Hill Road you feel like you're like anything like a lot of things on the north side there like when you go to Bray Farm and you look out over the marsh you feel like you're in like Ireland or something agreed you You get like where am I yeah right you get yeah. the same feeling going down the road to get to Long Pasture. So one of the things about Long Pasture is their goal is to get every kid on the Cape through their facility because not every kid has access 
to nature. Sounds crazy, but they don't. A lot of kids, you know, don't necessarily, maybe they don't live in a real safe neighborhood or their parents don't have time to take them places. And so they partner with the schools to get as many kids through there as humanly possible. My kid has gone through there and she got, they, I think it was Long Pasture who helped them with a, there was a turtle project that they got to do with the Wixon school, um, yeah. which is very cool. But they've last year took on a huge project to build this giant, it's not giant, but it's magnificent discovery yeah. center so that wow. they can really make these programs happen and open it up to even more people in the community. Yeah. It's easier for these school programs to come through because when you go to Long Pasture, like if the kids note, parent note, when yeah. live, gets to go to Long Pasture, you yeah. want to chaperone that trip. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what an, an amazing thing for the community. I didn't realize they were building that. That's great. Yeah. You, you take all these like walks and they, the last part of it is a big low tide beach walk yep. where they're going in the tide pools and like checking out the critters and very it's cool. Just awesome. Yeah. Um, and there's a beach there, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you remember, there's this <laughs> there's a beach and it's yep. right on Barnstable Harbor and you can yep. see Sandy Neck. And I, I go there and I'm like, I can't believe I get to be here. It's one of the perks of membership yep. is to, to yep. use that beach. Beautiful. So, yeah. It's so cool. I we live it. in a very special place. I really do. I can't believe all of the cool very lucky <laughs> from like cool places to shop to the beach, yep. the unbelievable food. Amazing. Why would you live anywhere else? I don't even know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, well, there's that. Um, if you want to get in touch with either one of us, you can find me at the Cape And you can find me on Instagram at Cape Cod Properties or at teammartinlapsley.com. So now you know what's good Cape Cod for this episode. Keep following us. And before long, you'll know Cape Cod like we know Cape Cod. Bye, guys.